come, boom. Come in here. Okay, straight away. Line your body towards, see, come towards you. See, your leg is here already. See, you, you can do the lock from here to minute. You can do everything from here. Then you come up, it's easier to take him this way. So when you're walking, you need to feel that. So you turn from here like that. He's down, take me down, boom, boom. Now do straight away, in this movement here. He can't, boom, now move with When you're here, difficult to loop. You see your leg now come forward. Line. Hand, loop. Okay? And then, then, if it's struggling with me, I'm looping it. Now take it easy now. Line. Control is being him. And then your hand have to be. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong. I'm back again. Teach you some basic technique onto the movement there. Somebody asked me on this training here how to take someone down using the attack. Now, watching this video, make sure you're watching right to the end of the video so you can troubleshoot a lot of movement. Most of you there watching the video and watching the first few bits and then you're thinking that, oh, I know that already. The good stuff is into the end. Let me show you what is I mean by that. So, when you're attacking, coming in here, here, the line of control, and that's where you're in control of the movement right away. You're making the attack. Now, the important thing here, you've got to understand, yeah? When he in this line of control, it's being him, and then your hand has to be in one motion of oh, arm break. Because if you lean, see, you lost balance. Try to make sure when you pull, you're in this line here while you're leaning. It's difficult. Now I'm here, it's easy for me to attack. Now, if you're watching some of my Wing Chun training, hammer fist is on the basic training, five angle punch, and on the knife. So when you're down, you cannot attack like this. So the most important thing using the hand is the hammer fist. So for example, when I'm here, I'm checking this hand. So if you like this kind of thing here, subscribe to me before the enemy do. Otherwise your enemy know how to do it, and they're gonna beat you up. And such, I'm using this hand to loop, okay? Now why I'm looping this? Because if it tends, I can't move. So when I loop in it, it's easier for me to move. Okay, if, you, if it's struggling with me and I'm looping it, now take it easy now for me to hear. Now I'm here, if I'm punching, you grab my hand. See, the problem with punching is he grab and he pull, I'm lost balance. But I'm hitting. Do you understand? I'm walking in like this. I, I pull. When he grab, I pull. Do you understand? When I punch, I force. See? And when I force, I need to jaw, and that's lost balance. Do you understand that? So the thing you need to understand when you're training is make sure that all the basic of your movement have to be in line. When it's in line, when you're down, it's easy for you to access your weapon. This is one of your weapon. Okay. So let's go through some movement again. Line, hand, loop. Okay. And then forward and turn. And while you're here, you're in position. And the hand, it's like you're attacking your knee. Okay? We got the cross to the head there. He has to defend. If he don't, it goes straight on his face. So he defend. If he defend, it's the same. Difficult for him to grab because you're looping. Okay? You're not punching like this. Okay? You don't punch him. You're looping like this, so you got more power. And if you grab and pull that arm, if you're weak, he pull, and you lost balance. If you pour, so your hammer exactly the same way, you see? You just, you just basically put the hammer into him. So the most important thing to understand that. Second important thing as well, when you're here, difficult to loop, you see your leg now come forward to the back, it's helping and then make it happen. To take someone down, you need to create this movement in the time when it gives you problem. Okay, if you don't give your problem, that will be fine. Okay, but when you give your problem, this movement here, he can't, boom, now move with it. Okay, so you cannot try to uh, think about all oh, this movement. Uh, is that going to do this? Is you going to do that? The important thing is you have to feel the body when it's arrived. Now, when you arrive with this movement here, you know he struck with you. He will, if I'm in this position, he will go grab. See, this is the position. 
Uh, your kid is selling too, so you gotta make sure if you're here with it, don't go here like that. You go down, you take me down, boom, boom. Now you straight away in the position straight away that he will bust you up. So in case that happening, you need to troubleshoot your tail cell to understand. It's when you here, you come down, see? So your arm move with it. But while you're doing that, your body is already in positioning to take him down. So the line here, he come, see? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You have to feel the movement in, so that way you're able to uh, uh, feel that he come towards you. Because he will want to, he come towards you. See, your leg is here with him. See, your leg is here, so it's easier to take him this way. So when you're walking, you need to feel that. If you don't, then what happens is here, you come in and go. Go, take it down. Now you go straight away in a good position for him to bust you up, okay? Basic. Learn to get news in the hand, come, boom, come in here. Okay, straight away, line your body like you're sitting on him. Okay, that way you're making contact, you can do all the movement from here, you can do all the lock from here, the minute, you can do everything from here. Then you come up, you can do all of this. Movement that needs to add on can be very simple to do. Okay, think of that. So that's very basic, to get news to the line of the body where you are. Like I mentioned before, in our Wing Chun system, it's different to everybody else's. So it's not going to be very specific. You're using all the element of the weapon, and then you made this weapon to be used on different situations. Everyone is different, not all of them the same. So if you like this kind of thing here, subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy know how to do it, and they're going to beat you up. And secondly, taking a course, and then you're going to learn a lot of information there. All the information I need here, if you want to come to train on our full-time academy here, then description underneath this video, check it out. And if you want to ask me anything else, ask me and be right here to answer your question. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on the next lesson. That's why you don't touch me. Get your t-shirt now. Onto it so it break. Then come and stamp, stamp. Got an enemy come this side. Boom, like that. So the whole body come like this here. Then happen to go. Boom. If you punch, I shut the eyes on his face first like this. Okay. And then turn it like this. And then turn it like this. So it's easy. And then change it to here first because the weapon is. You literally you go like this. Like this. <laughs> The principle of it, exactly the same again, you cut it throw off, yeah?